Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Jake, community developer here at Tailwarden. And in this video, I just want to show you the easy steps that you would need to follow to deploy Commissar as a Docker container on your local machine. Okay, since we're using Docker, you're going to want to have the Docker Hub daemon running in the background. I already have it over here uh, running, but we don't have any containers running at the moment. The next thing that you're going to want to do is think about which is the way that you're going to want to choose to authenticate your cloud accounts to Commissar. Uh, and uh, as you probably know from Commissar v3 onwards, the way that we authenticate our uh, cloud accounts to Commissar is using the config.toml file. And inside the config.toml file, you have two different ways that you can choose to um, add your credentials. Let's have a look at my example config.toml file that I have right here in the commissar.local folder. So I have this uh, AWS account that I'm just giving it the, the name admin and I'm using the credentials file source. You could also use the environment variables um, source method to authenticate. Uh, if you want to see how that's done, check the official commissar documentation. You're going to want to add for the credentials file, you're going to want to add the path for commissar to be able to find uh, those credentials. And uh, in this case, since I'm using the credentials file in the folder, I'm also going to, to add it. At the beginning of the credentials file, you'll have the name of the profile. In my case, it's just default. And below here, we have one of the two data persistent methods uh, available to us, which is either using a simple uh, SQLite file or using Postgres DB. Cool. So in my case, I have this. Let's go over to our terminal. Okay, so I'm looking at the commissar-local directory in which I have those two files that I mentioned. And now we're going to pass in the docker run command. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that since we're containerizing the executable, the commissar executable needs access to these two files. And the way that we're going to give the executable this access is by mounting these files as volumes. So that's why the docker run command is going to be so long. We're going to have the docker run command followed by two instances of the dash v, which is the volume flag in which we're going to map the location, the path of the config.toml file on our local machines to the path that we want to map it to inside of the docker container. We're going to pass in dash v again and map the location of the credentials.yaml file and we'll map that to the path that we want to have it uh, inside of the docker container. Same thing again. Now make sure that the config.toml file has access to this specific path and as you can see this path that we have right here is the one that I've added in the config.toml file. Make sure that that's correct or else uh, the deployment won't work. Additionally, the command is running in detached mode and we're mapping port 3000 to port 3000. We're given the container the name Commissar and we are passing in the Commissar image uh, version, uh, in this case, 3.0. Um, afterwards, we're going to pass in the necessary uh, command to start the executable, which is Commissar start, and we're going to want to indicate exactly where the config.toml file is by passing in the dash dash config flag. Cool, that's all we need. Let's run it. So as we can see, let's just make sure that it's running. I can see that it is. Let's just go over here. We can check the logs. We can see that we're fetching resources there in the background. Uh, just so you know from the terminal here, if you wanted to check the logs, you can also do so by passing in Docker logs and then the name of the container, in our case, Commissar. Cool, so let's have a look at what the Commissar front end has for us. So let's go over to localhost 3000 and we can see that we're already fetching resources in the background. So what's happening now is exactly that. Um, slowly but surely, we're going to grab the resources, fetch them and load them onto the SQL light file. So uh, if you just give it a, a few seconds, you'll be able to uh, see the different resources coming in. Um, okay, so that's all I really wanted to show in this quick video. Um, if I missed anything, or if it's not working exactly the same for you, 
please let me know in the Discord server. I'll be happy to help. I hope this was informative and thanks a million for watching. Bye.